What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what is going on? My name is Nikki. You should consider subscribing by hitting the MB in the bottom corner or the red subscribe button and join the crew because uh, we like to keep it real and have some fun. So go ahead and smash that button. With that being said, today, say it with me, it's a beautiful, joyful, glorious, blessed kind of day, but you already know the drill with that. But today, honestly, to be honest, there's not much of a purpose for this. I have to go to my friend's house and help her take some vents off the wall. So you're going to come with me on the ride. We're going to chit chat. We're going to get there. We're going to take some vents off the wall and um, just have some fun. So let's just go and uh, get into this video. You guys need to go start the car for me because I gotta grab a couple more things up in here and then I will see you in there and uh, we'll get on with our day. Oh, okay. Hey guys, it is so hot in here. Hi, it's like 90 degrees. Okay, it's fine. I'm already sweating and I just took a shower. Okay, well, um, regardless, I have to go do this. So a couple things I had to grab, check this out. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that, but I just get so excited. Then I had to get this because you already know this hair is about to be frizzy and I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna put it up, like, you know how it goes. Right there. Okay. So I'm ready to go. She knows I'm on the way. Let's just get this thing started. Excuse you. All right, let's go. Okay, I need air. Okay, I would honestly hate to be these moving people right now because <laughs> it's too hot for that. Oh my goodness. Sorry if I annoy you by chewing my gum, but like, I don't really care. So. What the hell? That girl is too young to be on a motorcycle. Like, are you kidding me? That girl literally is gonna fall off if a breeze rolls through. She was probably like four years old hanging on to her dad, brother, uncle, grandpa. I don't know. Like, for dear life. Like, I want you all to see this because this is just reckless behavior. Actually, they're behind me. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Put the pedal to the metal, but don't let the girl fall off. Okay, they're coming. Oh, okay. Oh, golly. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Look. <gasps> Do you see her? Do you see this girl? She is too young, bro. Like, that has me scared. I'm about to say a quick prayer for their safety. Everyone join me. Lord, please protect those two on the motorcycle today. You know, just in general, motorcyclists are kind of crazy, kind of nutty up in the head, but like, whatever. I respect the love of the thrill. But that girl is too young, and um, I hope that you protect her, send the guardian angels over her, and keep them safe. Amen. Whoa, that lady was like so pregnant and she's out jogging in 90 degree. Like, I'm sorry. Like, mm -mm. no, my hormones are bad enough on my freaking cycle that like when I am pregnant, I'm putting my feet up. I mean, I know you're supposed to like work out or whatever, but running in 90 degrees is not going to be on the agenda. I hope the air conditioning isn't too loud for you guys because honestly, I cannot live without it right now. So, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go around me. You know what? No, I'm about to. No, you stupid girl. That's right. I'm going to block you in. No, you can't come over. Ha! She came over. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's right. Get stuck behind the SUV. What is that? Your mama's car? Actually, this is my mama's car. Please don't let there be cops because I'm doing so many illegal things right now. Kids, don't ever do this. Honestly. Oh, that's a green light. Don't break. I'm not 80 year old with no shirt. Like, you know what? Power to you. The rest is kind of raunchy. And, you know, that's not on brand for me. So, but low key, it is. <laughs> What is this though? Like my hair's already frizzing out. Wah, 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 she give me what I wanna. Or something like that. God bless her. Yeah, I'm thinking about taking a train up to the bay to go see KK. Um, and like vlog it while I go. I feel like that would be a blast and a half. But I also feel as though maybe the anxiety would flare up quite a bit. But, you know. It's all good. Fun fact about me, I took a train from LA to Pennsylvania with my grandparents when I was in the eighth grade. And that was a stunning experience. Like, honestly, it was quite amazing. We had a sleeper car and I slept like up on the top with these chains that like, you know, hugged me into the bed. So like if we hit a little rail bump, I wouldn't be flying, you know, off the top of the bed. It was stunning. I mean, obviously I don't need a sleeper car to go to San Francisco. I'll probably get like a roomette, which is like a luxury, you know, VIP room to yourself. Okay, another thing when I'm driving, you guys, does this happen to you? So like you're on a very busy street and there's a stoplight like in the middle of it, but it's kind of downhill. So like you're kind of going fast and you need to turn. So you're trying to get in the turn lane. So therefore you have to put your brakes on, right? Like you have to brake because the turn light is red, their light is green. And there's cars like on your butt, like so fast that you don't want to brake because you're like, they're going to hit me. And then you get into the left lane, like coming out at 60 miles an hour and you got to stop you like, like that, you know? I don't like that at all. I ate too much breakfast today. Do you guys want to know to have a breakfast today? I had a homemade smoothie with bananas, blueberries, strawberries, peaches, yogurt, and cranberries, which was interesting, but like really good. And then I had a fat ass bowl of oatmeal, which I ate maybe a fourth of the bowl of oatmeal. That was sticking to your bones oatmeal, if you know what I mean. Oh gosh, we're coming in hot. We're coming in hot. 
You guys, can we have a quick moment to talk about like motivation? Because like, why do I keep going? It's hard to stay motivated in literally anything you do. Like what, what keeps you going? And I think for me, I finally found the realization that it's literally the fact that like God is not done with me yet. You're gonna need to go because you're in the middle of the street. <sighs> As I'm sitting here talking about God. Love you, okay. Like I'm not dead, but there's a purpose for my life still and I have to keep going in order to fulfill that purpose. Another thing I'm thinking about right now is why that picket fence was all white except for literally one section was just brown. What is wrong with this house? Like nobody lives there. Actually, nobody lives there. Look at this. What is that? Like can we please just get a like a lawnmower up in this? We just need a lawnmower and we need some fresh paint on there. Like it's not that difficult. Wow, that car has a lot of bumper stickers. Hopefully she's got the AC going on in there because I cannot be changing 20 vents. All right, now I'm gonna put this up. Okay, I'm taking it off for a second. I went with gray today, so. This is always my dilemma. Do I, like, I wanna put it so the ponytail is through the hole? Or do I wanna put it so the ponytail is under so if I have to take it off? You know what, we're just gonna leave it like this. Women gotta keep a pass. All right, you guys, I'm about to go in there. Literally, that's amazing. You turn off the car and within two seconds, it's like 100 degrees in here, okay? I'm out. All right, so I just had to move this couch out the way, and I got the step so... Oh, golly. Golly. All right. Gotta get the razor. I'm gonna have to move further back, because this is not going to work. You're basically slicing the paint off here, and, uh... Do all four corners and then it'll pop off, I think. Let me just do this, I'll be back in a little bit. You guys, oh my god, this is like, it's like insane work. Like I'm pitting out right now. You can't even see it, but like I'm pitting out. I got three rooms done. I have like a bunch more to do. Then I have to sand it, put the screws in the new one, put them up, you know what? This might not all get done today, but. Let's just go, get back to work. You guys, honestly, that one took me so long because there were screws and they just painted over them. This is gonna take me forever. So you know what? I'm just gonna try to grind this out and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit because this is like freaking nuts. There's sweat dripping down my back. It's taking me hours, like hours. Still haven't even got them all off. Then I have to sand to screw the other ones in, paint. Oh, I need some lunch. All right, guys, I'm back in the car. Going to get some lunch. Uh, honestly, it's not too exciting in there at all. It's a lot of work, but hey, you know what? And I'm hungry and hot and tired and sweating. And my neck hurts. I just got the Baja Fresh for lunch. It's over there. Um, I'm gonna go in there. I got a bowl and I will see you guys back at the house in three, two, one. Okay, here's the situation. I knew I said I was gonna see you back at the house, but some things happened in there that I wanna discuss. Um, sorry for the air noise, but you're gonna have to just deal because it's hot as balls out here, so I need it on. Here's my water. You know what you do with this? You just, oh, okay, yep. You just put it on. First thing I wanna talk about after that experience. If you don't know what Baja Fresh is, it's a little Mexican place, a little Mexican joint. They got the salsa bar, they got your tacos, burritos, bowls, whatever you want, okay, great. This guy in front of me's back with his dress shirt from work was literally dope, like from sweat. Which, I mean, I get, don't get me wrong, oh. And there he is trying to pull out. Anyway, um, so his shirt soaks, right? Okay, great. Then he comes over to the salsa bar and literally like spreads himself. All his stuff is on the salsa bar, like his sweaty ass self, like all over all the salsa. To be honest, a place like this, we need two salsa bars. We need one on that side of the facility and we need one on this side of the restaurant today because I don't want to get all close and personal with this really sweaty man who has now been involved in all of this, right? Then I go to get my drink. There's this kid who has spilled all the iced tea all over where you get your drinks. You know what? I'm running this light because the Lord is with me. And then he's like over where like the fountain drinks are and like wiping up his mess on the side over here. So he's taking up quite a bit of space. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, and like I see germs, I see salmonella, I see strep, I see, you know, cold, flu, bronchitis, sinus infection, pneumonia. Okay, I see it spread all over the fountain stuff. So like, but you know what? I'm not trying to catch whatever it is you're spreading. Cover your mouth and keep your sweat away from my salsa picante, okay? And I'll see you at the house. <laughs> Okay, can I title this a mukbang now? Is this considered a mukbang? Mukbang? Mukbizzle? Oh, shizzle my dizzle, whizzle for shizzle my nizzle, buck mizzle, what? Why don't they give you four? Like, what am I supposed to do? Just eat this with my face? It's a chicken, veggie, bean, and rice bowl. I love cilantro. Cilantro. Oh, I just spilled. Look it. <laughs> About to have a chip, because your girl deserves a chip. 
You guys do not want to sit here and watch me eat. So, so you know, I'm going to close out the video right here, right now. So like I say at the end of every single one of my videos, enjoy the journey, whatever your journey is. And always remember to do what says your heart. On fire! I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.